Today I want to talk about what the president of the Heritage Foundation said at Davos. But before we get into that, <clears throat> I have to thank every single one of you that comes to my channel, that watches my videos, that likes them, that comments on them, that shares them. And I especially have to thank all of you who have subscribed. I'm amazed by the growth in my subscribers. I just, I don't understand it, but obviously there is a group of people in the world that want to hear what I have to say, so I'm going to keep speaking. If you're not familiar with the Heritage Foundation, they are a, <clears throat> a conservative think tank is what people would call them. They do a lot of work with congressional leaders trying to convince them to carry out certain policies. And they have been very successful in getting conservative policies implemented. And in my opinion, those are the only policies that should be implemented. Yeah, I know you progressives think you ought to have all your stuff, but you're just completely off base when it comes to the Constitution. You don't understand the Constitution. You don't understand how our system of government was set up. And you don't understand what it means when you give all the power in the country to the federal government. It's dangerous. So I've been giving... Uh, monthly donations to the Heritage Foundation for years now, long, long time. I don't know, maybe 25 years. Not very much. I'm not very rich, but I give them a little bit every month. And if you're interested in, in promoting conservative ideals, I would suggest you go check them out, heritage.com and see what they're about and see if that's something you want to support. But anyway, the president of Heritage Foundation was invited to speak at Davos, which in and of itself, that's pretty weird. Because if you know anything about Davos, you know that's where the World Economic Forum meets every year. That's where the wealthiest elites in the, in the entire world show up in their private jets complaining about climate change. <clears throat> and they talk about how, and I'm, I'm going to put it my way, they talk about how to take over the world. That's what they want to do. They want to get complete control of the entire world so that they can do what they want, become even more rich than they already are, and suppress every single one of us. Last year at Davos, one of the people that spoke said, there will come a day when you will own nothing and you will be happy. Think about that for just a minute. Do you think they're going to own nothing? No. But the President of Heritage Foundation was invited to attend, and so he did. And he spoke very bluntly and very plainly to the people that were there. This is not very long, so I'm going to play the whole thing for you. It's laughable that you would... Or anyone would describe Davos as protecting liberal democracy. It's equally, Standing up for it. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's equally laughable to use the word dictatorship at Davos and, and aim that at President Trump. In fact, I think that's absurd. But I'm going to step aside from that constructive criticism and instead answer your question. Yep. And, and I'm going to be substantive here. President Trump, if he's the next president, for that matter, I think whoever the next conservative president is going to take on the power of the elites, which I mentioned earlier. But there, the, the thing that I want to drive home here, the very reason that I'm here at Davos, is to explain to many people in this room and who are watching, with all due respect, nothing personal, but that you're part of the problem. Political elites tell the average people on three or four or five issues that the reality is X, when in fact reality is Y. Take immigration. Elites tell us that open borders and even illegal immigration are okay. The average person tells us in the United States that both rob them of the American way of life. They're right. President Trump will take that on on behalf of the average American. Elites also tell us that public safety isn't a problem in big American cities just travel to New York or Washington or Dallas, Texas, the average person will tell you that the lack of public safety damages not just the American way of life, 
but their life. President Trump will take that on. Thirdly, I guess the favorite at the World Economic Forum is climate change. Elites tell us that we, we have this existential crisis with so-called climate change, so much so that climate alarmism is probably the greatest cause for mental health crisis in the world. The solutions the average person know based on climate change are far worse and more harmful and cost more human lives, especially in Europe during the time that you need heating than do the problem and the problems themselves. Fourth, two more here, Robin. The fourth, China. The number one adversary, not just to the United States, but to free people on planet Earth. Not only do we at, at Davos not say that, we give the Chinese Communist Party a platform. Count on President Trump ending that nonsense. And fifth, as we sit here, another supranational organization, the World Health Organization, is discussing foisting gender ideology upon the global south. These are practices that are under review, if not being rejected, by countries in Northern Europe. The new president, especially if it's President Trump, will, as you like to say, trust the science. He will understand the basic biological reality of manhood and womanhood. And do you know why? Not because of retribution, not because he's a dictator, but because he has the power of the American people behind him. And it's connected to Senator Portman's excellent point that in addition to needing a vigorous executive, we look forward to having the popular will inform both the House and Senate in 2025 to pass laws on all of those issues and many others. Ultimately, Robin, I think President Trump, if in fact he wins a second term, is going to be inspired by the wise words of Javier Millet, who said that he was in power not to guide sheep, but to awaken lions. That's what the average American and the average free person on planet Earth wants out of leaders. Hmm. Whew, boy, is that not the truth? I couldn't have said it any better. I'm not, as you know, if you've watched me at all, I'm not that excited about having Trump as our president, but he's by far a better choice than Biden or whoever else the progressive left will put up in his place if they do. The craziness that we're going through right now is a direct result of the left having power saying that there are thousands of genders, that gender is an idea that you can express however you want. It's pure insanity. And yet it's being treated as if it's normal. Saying that it's okay to have millions and millions and millions of people pouring across your border unchecked unvetted, unaccounted for, is a good thing, is insanity. Climate change is the biggest hoax that's ever been pulled on the people. And many, many, many people are beginning to realize that. And they're, they're realizing that this climate change crap is a lie. It's not science at all. It's politics. It's a religion. So much of what's going on with the left is just out there, way, way, way out there. And hopefully there will be a pendulum reaction to it that will swing the country to the right, back towards sanity, where we don't put pornographic material in the libraries of elementary schools and we don't have drag queens dancing in front of elementary people, kids. I, I can't, uh, it just, it, it's hard for me to hear those words coming out of my mouth and say that that's actually happening in our country and yet it is. And far too many people are fine with it. 
it's crazy. It's insane. There's no other word for it. It's insane. But that's the world we live in. And that's what you're going to have to put up with if you don't fight. And when I say fight, I'm talking about prayer. Because if you're depending on a man to save us, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's never happened. There's no such thing as a human savior. The only savior is God. So for my viewers, for those of you who come to my channel, I pray that you will live an abundant life and that you'll be healthy, that you'll live a long life, that you will be kept safe by God. I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I also pray that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will make your request known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet out.